everyone. This is the third episode of Interior Attack. We're so glad you've joined us again. For those of you wondering why we've titled this series Interior Attack, we're relating it back to our lingo on the fire ground. As firefighters of the fire service in Hull, we spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to best mitigate incidents. And a lot of times we equate that to being aggressive interior attack firefighters. Usually that's the quickest way to solve, a, solve the problem. Well, we titled this series Interior Attack because we also feel like to, to hit the root of the main cause of firefighter line of duty death, We've got to get interior in our bodies and look at what we're putting in our bodies and um, attack the things that are hurting us. Attack high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Um, and, and we can do that through food. And what we're going to do today is we're going to do a heartier meal than what we have been doing. It's winter and people think of heartier meals to sort of keep you warm. So we're going to do a turkey meatloaf. So many comfort foods are filled with really rich and bad um, ingredients. It's got butters and gravies and oils and things like that. So we're going to show you a comfort food that is very healthy, nutritious, and it really tastes good. It's very flavorful. Exactly. And this meal is super easy to make, whether you're making it at home or at the firehouse. Very few ingredients. Um, we'll, we'll talk about them along the way. There's a couple different substitutions you can throw in to spice it up in different ways, whether you like Italian flavored meatloaf or a spicier southwestern flavored meatloaf. Um, we'll give you some tips on that as well as we go. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the ingredients, Heidi. We've got our 99% lean turkey, and there's so many benefits to turkey. I really didn't even realize the benefits to turkey until we started um, putting our nutrition facts together for this. And it's generally low fat, and almost any of the fat in turkey is gonna be found in the skin or in the dark meat. So if you, usually if you get the ground meat, it's going to be the, the, the whiter meat that's very healthy for you. Right, and the, and the thing about buying ground turkey and, and using that as opposed to red meat is you've got to be sure and look at the labels on this. I know we talk about a lot about reading nutrition labels and ingredient listings, but be sure that you're getting 99% lean. Right. That's, that's going to cut your saturated fat, total fat content, calories in, in half, and you're still going to have a whole lot of beneficial protein in there. And uh, something I didn't know about um, turkey, I know that it does make you sleepy, so it's good for insomnia. So that's true? It is true. It's got some amino acids that play a vital role in your sleep. Uh, so it really know. helps there. But um, one thing I did not know, it, it helps improve your mood. So if you got somebody really grouchy around the station, it might be a good time to make a turkey meatloaf. That's not a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> it can actually improve your mood, so that's a good thing. It uh, boosts the immune system, and if you do have a problem with cholesterol, it reduces your LDL cholesterol, which a lot of people do have a problem with, so it's a great uh, meat to have when you're trying to, to control your cholesterol. Awesome. All right, so we, we have some, some healthy protein. What's next? Next we've got our eggs. And we're going to do, we're not going to use the whole eggs today. We're just going to use the egg white. Um, in the meatloaf, it's the eggs basically to sort of bind the meat and everything together. Mm -hmm. And you really don't need the yolk. When you take out the yolk, it's amazing the calories, the fat that you save that you're not getting and you're still getting the benefits of the egg white. You not, see how she did it? She didn't need a separator. She just did it with the, with the shell itself. Not only that, but uh, for those of you watching your cholesterol, one egg yolk has 200, 215 milligrams of cholesterol mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. So by, by taking that out, you're taking out saturated fat, you're taking out cholesterol in the egg, and you're still getting a complete protein source in this egg You're yolk. even taking out right. sodium. I think one egg yolk has about so, uh, 65 grams of sodium in it. So this is some of the hidden... Sometimes you've got sodium hidden in foods that you don't even think about. You don't even think to um, figure I'm that in. That one up. Nope, you got it. Very good. I tell you what, folks. If uh, you messed up like I just have right now, and um, you spill some of the yolk in it, okay, we caught it. The uh, the actual egg shell is sharp enough to just reach scoop down. Yeah, there. scoops scoops the yolk right out. So what's next? Next, let's. Uh, we're going to add some pepper to ours because pepper is. So beneficial, so nutritious. It's got a lot of vitamin C, beta carotene. And they also show that um, bell peppers have been protective against cataracts. 
All right, so uh, while I'm chopping up this, what, what do we have next? Next we're gonna have an onion. I think onion is almost one of the perfect foods. It's good for your heart. It does help boost the beneficial, beneficial HDL cholesterol, and it thins the blood. I um, hope everyone knows, but HDL is actually the, the good cholesterol. That's the number that you want to be mm -hmm. fairly high. Mm -hmm. A lot of people ask us, well, you know, how do we raise our HDL number? Um, of course, exercise is going to be the main thing you can do to increase your HDL, but also the things we eat can help us do that too. Another ingredient we're using today is garlic. Um, and this recipe calls for three cloves minced. All right, we've got our uh, three cloves of garlic minced. And the other ingredient, we're gonna cook that with the pepper and the onion. And the other ingredients that we've got, we've got some pepper, some black pepper, we've got Worcestershire, and we've got some um, old fashioned oatmeal and ketchup. You wanna tell them a little bit about this ketchup? Yeah, ketchup seems to, no matter what kind of meatloaf you're making, no matter what flavor, ketchup kind of seems to be a staple in it. And th this is a place where you can really do some savings, whether it be from sodium or from sugar. And it, it's kind of going to be a trade-off depending on what your individual nutritional goals are. We used organic ketchup today because typically organic ketchup is a bit lower in sodium than traditional ketchups. You can also, if your sugar is a concern, you can also use low sugar ketchup. But keep in mind when you do that, a lot of times when one ingredient like that is lowered, another sodium in, in this case is going to be heightened. So you can use low sugar ketchup, but your sodium content is going to be a little bit higher. And, and, and other than, than the sodium here, here, a little bit in the garlic, we're not adding any salt to this meatloaf. Okay, we're ready to cook up our onions and peppers. Okay. Okay, we've just sprayed a little bit of um, cooking spray in the bottom of this. The most recipes will call for butter, and this is just another way that you don't need the butter. We've got plenty of flavor, and the uh, cooking spray will just keep it from sticking to the pan. Okay, we've got our onions and peppers and garlic cooked, so we're going to go ahead and start mixing everything together now. Great. And uh, all the ingredients are listed on our website. So what we're going to add in now, we're going to mix in the turkey, the onions and peppers. Heidi's going to pour in our egg whites. Okay. Then we got our oatmeal. And this is old-fashioned oatmeal, and there's a lot of benefits to oatmeal we haven't even talked about. How much oatmeal is in here, Angie? We have got a quarter cup of oatmeal, so it's not a lot. A lot of people say they don't like the meatloaf with oatmeal and bread crumbs. There's not a whole lot in this one, so it's still all good stuff. And let's go ahead and put in our Worcestershire sauce with the uh, low sodium. <laughs> That's a hard word to say, isn't it, Heidi? Yeah, I'm not even going to try to say it. Okay. Mm -mm. Nope. And okay. then we're going to put in just a quarter cup of the ketchup. The rest of the ketchup we're going to add to the top of the meatloaf. All right. And you see, this is very easy to prepare. Longest thing, I just took chopping the onions and the peppers. If you're really short on time and uh, you, you don't have time to chop the peppers or the onions or the garlic and, and saute it and do all that, a good substitution for that would be use a half a cup of salsa. Mild salsa, mm -hmm. you've got, it's a tomato based product, you've got peppers and onions in it, you've got a lot of spices. And, and if you use mild salsa, it's generally not going to be really spicy. Um, but when you're doing that, be sure you're getting a salsa that has um, a low sodium content yes. to it. All right, and then um, we're going to go ahead and press this into the pan. And since we're using lean turkey, you, we went ahead and sprayed a little cooking spray into it so that it won't stick to the pan. 
And then, just to top it off, we're going to cover it with the rest of that ketchup. Pretty easy. Okay, we're ready to put it in the oven. We've got the oven at 350. We're going to go ahead and cook it up. You think it's ready? I think it's ready. Now let's it smells look. good. Oh, it looks very good. Oh, it's ready. Great. Okay, folks, uh, join us next time. We're going to be doing broiled salmon with quinoa. Quino. Yeah, and we'll know how to pronounce <laughs> that next time. See you then. Bye.